I was given some of this a little while ago and I've got to say, it's beautiful. You should see the colours and you should see how this, th this stuff spreads. It's amazing. I'm going to throw some paint at some canvas. So one of the things about acrylic paints is that they don't have many legs, but watch this. If I just add a little bit of water to that, I can block in whole lines, shapes, all sorts of things just with one brush. It travels for miles. But watch this. Look how great that colour is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to block in this whale and show how fantastic this colour is at spreading and how well it covers. One brush. One loaded brush. So you can just get so much more mileage out of, out of the paint, can't you, Mark? You really can. You can get miles out of the paint and it just seems to keep flowing without losing that intensity. One of the best things about it is it dries matte, so when you start working over the top of it, your paint doesn't slide, it's still got a little bit of grip, so you can actually feel the paint moving on the surface, so I really like that. And you can thin it out, you know, the amazing thing about it too is, is that there's so much pigment in it, that if you thin it out, it still covers, it works beautifully like watercolours, but it's, it's, it's fast, so it doesn't reactivate once you um, work over it later on. And all from the creative genius of Jim Cobb again. Yes, we have the, uh, that genius scientist, Jim Cobb, who works away in his little area out the back there at Chroma making these wonderful paints. I really think he's uh, hit the money this time. It's fantastic. It's just so much fun. So as someone who paints professionally, it's really important that my paint does a few things. The first one is that it stays there. I wanna, if I'm going to do a painting, I want to make sure that it, it, it stays on the canvas for a long time. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to support my practice. And then the last thing I wanted to, to do is to be fun. And this seems to fulfill every single one of those criteria. And it has sort of integrated already itself into my arts practice. So I'm using it now for blocking in and, and finding all sorts of little ways of investigating and playing with it. But I'd actually like to say if you're learning to paint, this stuff's going to be great to start with. You're going to have a blast. So you can see it didn't take me long to block that in. It covers so beautifully and you work, can work really, really fast with it. But it's versatile as well. Now I don't know much about watercolours, that's kind of a mystical dark art, but I thought I'd play around with it um, this morning and I've me messed around on a piece of brown paper and I'm pretty happy with how this has come out. It's nice and thin, it's, it's sort of moved around beautifully, it's got enough pigment in it to make me happy. But I painted this and then painted this. How versatile is that? Completely different image, covered beautifully. What can I say? Jim's done it again. He's, he's that little magical guy making fantastic paint.